I am Eleanor Ho, uh, commonly known as the Wok Star. So I teach Wok cooking classes in Miami. Uh, I've been doing this for nearly two decades. What I love doing about my cooking classes is it's so rewarding to see when people's faces and their eyes light up when they find out how fun and easy Wok cooking can be. I was brought up in a very large family in Hong Kong and both my parents had multiple jobs. Um, my mother was actually born in Singapore and my father was Chinese. So there were five of us in the family and that is why they had to work so hard to feed us and all that. But what I loved about a big family was that my mother always cooked fantastic meals and we all used to sit down at the end of the day and um, enjoy her food until I got sent to boarding school in England where the food was terrible <laughs> and that is actually what made me very homesick for my mother's cooking. That's why I always have the photo of her in my class. My mom and dad's wedding photo. So this is my mom she used to also come at lunchtime and bring us lunch in a tiffin carrier. And I will always remember that the class before lunchtime, I would start salivating because I would be wondering what delicious dish she would be bringing us. I loved my mum's very exotic Malaysian food and I really regret not learning to cook Malaysian food from her. This was my mom's favorite cookbook. And I'm so glad I kept it because it's, as you can see, it's actually falling apart. But, um, and that's her name, Mrs. Evie Ho. She used to love this book. We'd see her take it out. Oh, look, the page that I came to. Kwe Teo, it is one of the most famous dishes in Malaysia and she used to make it so good. I was always intimidated making fried noodles because I was so scared it was going to stick. Um, so I'm really glad that my sister in England, Lynette, she can really make this just like my mom, which is saying a lot. I've kept a lot of the little cuttings she did from different uh, magazines and she loved watching cooking shows so that's the thing that I had in common with my mom cooking so um, the Singapore noodles is something that we all used to look forward to and my poor mum had to make batches of it and because there were seven of us, she had to make a lot of it. And the great thing about my childhood was that I always remember cooking with my sisters and my mum in the kitchen. And we used to have such a blast. We would be laughing, giggling. That's why nowadays when I start cooking and there are certain smells and food associations, it always triggers off those wonderful childhood fond memories of cooking with my sisters and my mother and Singapore noodles is one of those dishes. Food is a great connection for my sisters and I. We all are good cooks because both my parents are good cooks and uh, those are the best memories that I remember cooking with the family because there is nothing like food. I mean, it's a common language amongst all my sisters and I. Anybody have any questions about what we've done today? So, thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you. Um, which dish did you like best? I'm Catherine. I have been in Miami for eight years. Probably this year is going to be the ninth year. Uh, it's quite a long time. 
Uh, currently, I work at a technology company. Uh, my position is office manager. And after I finish my school, and fortunately, I met my husband here. So I got married, and now I have family and two kids. One daughter, who is the older one, Alexandra, is five years old now. And also, I have another very cute little boy, Maximilian. He's two and a half. So I'm a mom. You may not believe I never cooked before I come to the United States because usually my mom will take care of everything when I was at home. So I already get used to my mom's homemade food. So after I came here, there's nothing I can eat if I don't cook. Um, especially at the very beginning, after I came, um, I'm not used to the traditional American food. So I think, oh, probably I need to get started to learn how to cook um, some traditional Chinese food. Dumpling is my favorite traditional Chinese food. The reason why I like it is just because my mom can make it very, very delicious. Um, nobody else can do the same dumpling. So I do miss the dumpling, which was made by my mom. I do like the process, um, how my mom made dumpling, and I used to very enjoy uh, doing this with her. When I was a little girl, when my mom made dumpling, uh, she would ask me to help. Uh, and now, uh, I can make dumpling by myself, and I would like to teach my daughter to do that too, just like my mom did with me before. Hopefully, when my little girl grow up, and she can do this too, and she can teach her children to do this, to let her know, oh, grandma used to do this for my mom, and now I'm teaching my child to do it. I think for the American-born Chinese, especially in my family, I think they have to learn. So either go to the Chinese school or um, I just teach her at home. Um, I'm very lucky. I have some friends. They have the same thought with me. So we just organize like a small family class and all the parents we take turns to teach the kids. Very good. And also the children can have some friend or buddies to grow up with her. Especially after I came to the United States and stayed in another country, I realized um, Chinese culture has some very beautiful things and give me a lot of beautiful memory. So I want my kids to have the same feeling with me because even they were born here, I think their home country is, is China. So um, during the daily life, I'm trying to teach her Chinese characters uh, and they do communicate with grandparents in China a lot. Mama, I have a Oh, tell me. I get to stay with my family and I get to I like I get to like stay with them and I feel good. Okay, Mama, I Currently all my family most of the time they live in China and sometimes my parents just come to visit us. I do miss my family, especially when um, I saw my family send me some pictures, some very delicious food that make me uh, miss my home a lot. Do 
估计你们准备回来，你还是能吃到，差这么多。就是不用在外面吃了，对，全家人晚上还是吃这些东西就行了。